Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant move to bolster its artillery capabilities, the U.S. Army has awarded Lockheed Martin a substantial $1.93 billion modification to an existing contract. This modification will support the production and enhancement of the high-mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, a key component of the Army's precision strike arsenal. This contract modification underscores the critical role that HIMARS plays in modern warfare, particularly highlighted by its deployment in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The HIMARS system is known for its mobility and versatility, capable of launching a variety of rockets and missiles. This makes it an indispensable tool in the Army's inventory, offering rapid deployment and high mobility essential for contemporary combat scenarios. The HIMARS platform enhances the U.S. Army's precision strike capabilities, enabling it to effectively engage targets with a high degree of accuracy. Work locations and funding for this contract will be determined with each order, and the entire project is slated for completion by May 31, 2028. The Army Contracting Command at Redstone Arsenal in Alabama is managing the contracting activity, ensuring that the project aligns with the strategic needs of the Army. This new contract builds on a previous $861 million contract awarded to Lockheed Martin in May 2024. The earlier contract focused on increasing the inventory of HIMARS launchers and related equipment. The HIMARS system has proven vital not only for U.S. military operations but also for international support missions, with significant deployments to Ukraine since the conflict with Russia began in 2022. The HIMARS, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, is a sophisticated mobile artillery system designed by the United States. It can launch either six Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, rockets or one Army Tactical Missile System, ATACMS, missile. This flexibility allows HIMARS to adapt to various combat scenarios, providing critical support across multiple fronts. The system is currently in use by several countries, including the United States, Australia, Canada, Estonia, Finland, Jordan, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Singapore, Ukraine, and the United Arab Emirates. This widespread adoption is a testament to its effectiveness and reliability in the field. HIMARS is equipped with an NBC, nuclear, biological, and chemical, protection system, a heater, and a white searchlight for night operations. Weighing in at 10,886 kilograms, the vehicle is protected against small arms fire and shell splinters. It operates with a crew of three and can achieve a maximum road speed of 85 km per hour. In terms of firing range, the HIMARS can launch ERMLRS rockets up to 45 km, new extended range guided rockets, GMLRS, up to 70 km, and tactical missiles, ATACMS, up to 300 km. With dimensions of 5.046 meters in length, 2.16 meters in width, and 2.251 meters in height, HIMARS is a compact yet highly mobile system that can be easily transported and deployed. The production and delivery of the HIMARS system are part of a broader initiative by the U.S. Army to enhance its artillery capabilities and ensure readiness for a range of military engagements. Recognized for its combat-proven reliability and precision, HIMARS provides the United States and its allies with unmatched mobile firepower, reinforcing their ability to respond swiftly and effectively to threats. With the continued investment in systems like HIMARS, the U.S. Army is positioning itself to meet the demands of modern warfare, ensuring that it remains a formidable force on the global stage. This latest contract with Lockheed Martin signifies a sustained commitment to maintaining technological superiority and operational readiness in the face of evolving security challenges. That's all for now, see you later.